McDonald's Dino Bash. I've seen a little bit of it already. Grant hasn't seen it yet, but you can meet a ton of characters like Launchpad, McQuack, Scrooge, um, Chip and Dale in special outfits, Donald in a special outfit, Daisy, and I think Pluto and Goofy as well. So our goal is to meet Chip and Dale in their Chipmunkasaurus outfits, and maybe we'll go on Dinosaur or something. But if you go over, if you go around, first one you see is Scrooge over here, and they all have their own little setups. Chip and Dale are the only ones next to each other. Well, they're obviously together. But yeah, there's Scrooge. And then this is Restaurantosaurus here. And like I said, behind me is Scrooge. And then right up here is Launchpad. Looks like he's either not out yet or he's taking a break. Probably oh, taking a break. But. And then Daisy's down in the corridor over there. And then Donald's out in the front there. But super awesome. Hi! Y'all have a good day, okay, guys? Hi! Oh, look at Yeah, you, you like his shirt? Yeah. Oh, you I put know. you on it? Oh, I know. Maybe I we should. <laughs> On the back. It is hot out. <laughs> really hot. <laughs> but we're going over to Pizza Safari now for lunch. And then we're going to ride Everest. And then I don't know what we're going to do. Probably leave. Because it is getting hot. Um, but we met Chip and Dale, which was fun. I, I'm going to put the footage in here if it's good enough. Well, before this. But yeah. I have the flash on because it's so dark in here. Got the lunch at Pizza Bari. One of the new magic bands. It's pink and it has all star snacks on it and sprinkles. I think it's so cute. It was like $22.99 without the discount and then like $19 with it. So, but so cute. We rode Everest and then, like, it was sprinkling before we went on. Um, so we just decided to head out and we're out of the car now and it definitely started raining and it's all yucky out and we can hear thunder in the distance. Um, but yeah, so we think we're going to go to Disney Springs. We haven't gotten any information on our hotel yet, of, like whether we can check in or not yet. So we're waiting for that, but we're staying at Saratoga, which is right next to Disney Springs. So probably best to go there and hang out because it'll be close by. Um, but yeah. So we just checked in our room at Saratoga Springs. Um, if you don't know what Saratoga Springs is, it's one of the Disney Vacation Club resorts. And we're here staying for two nights, Friday night and Saturday night. And we are in just a studio because it's just Grant and I. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to give you a little room tour. We had some issues with our room at the beginning a few months ago. Um, we had stayed here and they put us in Congress Park, which happens to be right across from Disney Springs. Which during the daytime you're like, oh my gosh, that's awesome in Disney Springs view. But now, I don't know if it's just on the weekends, because it was on a weekend when we stayed. So I just don't know if it's during the week or just on the weekends. Um, there was music blasting, blasting until 2 a.m. We had to call and complain and get our room switched for the next night, but it was just like not fun. It was like so bad that like the doors were like shaking, like the glass doors were like vibrating and stuff, and you could hear it in the room, and it was a mess. Um, so we got put in that same section again um, just a f half an hour ago. And so we, we didn't even go into our room because we had done the online check-in, so it tells you where you are and everything. So you can just go to the room instead of stepping at the front desk. So we went to the front desk and we were like, we're sorry, but we cannot stay there. Um, but thankfully, this time, I was losing hope in Disney cast members, but um, his name was Ronald, I believe. And he was from Jacksonville. He was so helpful. He was earning his years. He had just come here from Hollywood Studios. He didn't even question us for a second. He immediately moved our room. He's like, do you want it on the first floor? Do you want it on the third floor? I have two options. You know, gave us whatever we wanted. It was just really awesome to finally experience something like that again because we've had issues in the past year. It's been not a good time. Um, but yeah, so we're happy now. We're right across from the pool. Very quiet, very relaxing because we're going to Toy Story Land early tomorrow morning so we don't have time to be up till 2 a.m. Um, but I'm just going to do a little room tour. So yeah, as soon as you walk in here, it's just a little landing and then there's some little hooks and a mirror to put your stuff on and then you have like a kitchenette of sorts with a mini fridge a toaster coffee maker microwave and then just shelves that have paper plates and utensils in it a little sink and then 
this is the bathroom. Okay, I already washed his hands, but um, so just a single sink and the mirror, of course, there's me. And then there's a closet here and some hangers and the ironing board, vacuum, pack and play, extra pillows and blankets for the pull out couch. And then in here is the toilet and the shower. <laughs> shower bath combo nothing fancy but it's nice some little art and we're in the springs just if you're curious and then we have a TV here on the TV stand it's kind of hard to see because these rooms are so dark and then the bed, there's Grant, say hi. I believe it's a queen. And then got the pool out, lights here, barely helps, but, and then just a little seating area, and a little ottoman, all of our stuff's there. And then this is just the little porch, which you can open, but I'm not because it's, it's raining and gross out. And then we just have a view of this little Link. Now on the Disney Parks app, they have the option for when you're staying at a resort, you get the bus times, like departing bus times on the app. Um, and I think you can only access them like if you're, what, like checked, you're checked in checked or whatever. In, yeah. So, um, but we're staying at Saratoga Springs, so there's a lot of different stops, as you can see. Um, we're at the Springs, which is basically the main stop at the main pool. So the next Magic Kingdom bus is at 3.59 and then the estimated park arrival time is at 4.14 then you see Epcot, Hollywood Studios some of them like they don't load right they'll just say every 20 minutes but I think it's a pretty good idea I've been saying they needed this so now that they finally have it it's super nice but yeah we're at Magic Kingdom going over to Buzz Lightyear our fast pass is like fire 440 and it's probably like 430 so we gotta hurry up there it's raining but not too bad Glad to be out of the 